Hi friends, welcome to my kitchen. I'm Chef Monty. So I need to know, have you heard of the five food groups? Now I cannot wait to tell you all about them. Let's explore the many different types of food that keep our bodies healthy. Are you ready for a food adventure? Good. Los Angeles Unified School District's wellness programs in partnership with KLCS TV and Dairy Council of California present Let's Eat Healthy Together. Let's Eat Healthy Together! What's the number one thing we all want food to be? Yummy, that's right! But it's also important that food be nutritious or full of nutrients. Nutrient is a big word. Do you know what a nutrient is? It's a part of food that helps you grow and stay healthy. And we need many different types of nutrients to keep us going every day. That means we need to eat more than one kind of food for our bodies and brains to do our best. When you eat many types of food, you get more nutrients and you experience many flavors, smells, and textures that are so much fun to explore. Do you know what variety means? Variety means many different types. Think about all the different types of food that you ate this week. What does variety mean to you? Let's ask some of our friends to share their opinion. Variety for food usually means to me like if you sort it by taste, I'd normally sort it with taste and with what's in the food. But I also sort it with like what category it would go into, like is it dairy food, is it fruits, is it vegetables, is it like an entree food or a lunch food or a dinner food. A variety of food, to me, I think it's basically like fruits and vegetables and something like grains and like milk. I also think like protein, like they, they're like um, kind of like the five food groups. Thank you, friends. You help to see a lot of variety in your foods. Eating different types of food is so important that food experts created five different groups to help us remember to eat a variety of food. Each group gives our body special nutrition to help us learn, play, and grow. These five food groups are dairy, vegetables, fruits, grains, and proteins. Let's take a closer look at the five food groups. Let's investigate. Vegetables come from every other part of a plant that isn't a flower. So stems like broccoli and asparagus, leaves like spinach, or roots that grow underground like carrots, radishes, and onions. Do you know what the most popular vegetable is? You guessed it, the humble potato. Now what's your favorite way to eat vegetables? One of my favorite vegetables is broccoli because I like how crunchy it is and it's just a really good vegetable. One of my favorite vegetables is snap peas because I can like eat the shell too or I could just like open it up and eat them individually. Um, one of my favorite vegetables um, is carrots because it's just very like refreshing and I like how it crunches and I also like to eat them in my soup. Fruits come from the flower of a plant and they have seeds. Fruits are often colorful and sweet and include grapes, apples, and oranges. I also like oranges because I really like the juice and I like, like, I like kind of peeling the skin off and just eating it. Grains are any food made from wheat, rice, oats, corn, barley, or cereal grains. Grains are small, hard, dry seeds that you can cook to make softer, like rice, or that you can grind into flour, like wheat. Now, grains come in all types of textures, like soft, crunchy, or 
even slippery. Can you think of a slippery grain? How about this? Noodles are slippery, yes. Proteins can come from animals or plants. Now this group has a lot of different types of food like eggs, white meats like pork, chicken, or fish, or red meats like beef and lamb. Proteins from plants are beans and lentils, nuts, seeds, and soy. What food from the protein group do you eat most often? I really like pork because pork is really good and like it's good at any time. Steak because it's just so juicy and I just like it a lot. Chicken because I really like soup and sometimes they put it in soup like ramen and pho. Okay, for the last food group, I have a surprise guest for you. Meet my friend Buttercup. Buttercup is here because the last group is dairy, my favorite. Milk and foods made from milk most often come from a cow. And guess what? I grew up on a dairy farm on a very small island called Puerto Rico. That's where I learned that milk comes from cows. Now, the dairy food group includes milk, and foods made from milk, like cheese, yogurt, and yogurt drinks. There are many types of cheeses that look and taste different. Have you ever tried cottage cheese? Now this cheese is creamy and wet, a little bit like yogurt. Which dairy foods are your favorite? My favorite dairy is milk because it's really refreshing, especially when you can't go to sleep, when you just like are hungry or just want to eat something, you could eat cheese and there's different types of cheeses all around the world. I really like yogurt because you can get it in different flavors like strawberry, banana, and honey. There you have it, the five food groups. And when you eat these food groups, they work together like a team of superheroes to help our bodies feel healthy and do their best. Sometimes one meal might have a lot of food groups. Other times, you might eat more variety over the whole day or over the whole week. Because the foods I eat may look different from the foods that you eat, can you tell me about a meal you ate with different food groups? Uh, one thing I like about spaghetti is that um, I like to put cheese on it and I think that some the tomato sauce um, and cheese go really well together with the pasta. One of my favorite foods is mac and cheese because it's just so cheesy and I just really like, like the texture. A breakfast I like is eggs and bacon with milk and some fruit. Ooh, I love that. I see all of the food groups. Do you? Wow, we've had quite a food adventure today. We've got to see a variety of foods that help our bodies learn, play, and grow. Now, can you remember what we learned today? What did you learn? Let's try to fill in the blanks with me, okay? We're all different, so we all enjoy eating different types of... Foods, you got it! Things in food that help our bodies are called... Nutrients, you are so good at this. We learned a lot about a tool to remember a variety of food called the five... Food groups, my goodness, great job everybody. This was so much fun, wasn't it? It was so great sharing a food adventure with you. All of the different kinds of food out there make for a great adventure, so be adventurous. When you're able to try new foods at home and in your school cafeteria, Learn about the foods your friends eat all the time. See if what they eat is the same or different from what you eat. And remember, taste, taste, taste. It's great to learn, but it's even more fun to teach. So talk about all of the things you learned today with someone special. Maybe you can challenge each other to eat different types of food. Thanks for going on this amazing adventure with us. I can't wait to see you again next time. Bye. Wellness programs support the needs of the whole child by focusing on eight areas of wellness. And watch on demand at healthyeating.org backslash together. Let's eat healthy together.